Hello everyone. A few weeks ago, we built a spin painting machine and made a spin painting. And I was showing this to one of my daughters and she had three pieces of advice for us. She said, Dad, next time you do a spin painting, don't use green and red because you know green and red mix to make brown. And I thought that was a good idea. So we're going to make another spin painting with nicer colours. The other suggestion she had was, she said, don't drop the paint onto the painting while it's spinning. Put the paint in blobs and then start it spinning. So we're going to try it that. And her third suggestion was, Dad, you know that if it's spinning fast, it doesn't necessarily make a good painting. And we're going to ignore that advice. So I was able to calculate in our last video that we got up to 300 RPM. And we also calculated that our spin painting machine could get up to 1000 RPM if it's working well. So we're going to see if we can make it go a bit faster. First thing we're going to do is we're going to test our new machine. We've replaced the string guide with a steel string guide so it doesn't cut through. We've replaced the string so it's much longer and we can get up to high speeds. And we've put a black piece of tape on the painting. So when we film it, we can calculate how fast it's spinning. So first test, no paint. We're just going to calculate speed. Here we go. Okay, Toby, when you're ready. That's it. Faster, faster, faster. Wind. We did a couple of speed tests and we got it up to 600 RPM, which is twice as fast as the old machine. Still a bit short of the thousand theoretical maximum we have, but it's fast enough to give it a go. So I've, this is a secondhand canvas. Uh, I've uh, spray painted this canvas black. Uh, so when we put some color on it, the color should show up really nicely. So I've got some bright pink and then bright yellow. I'm just going to blob some of this on and then we'll take it for a spin. Well, first spin, I think that looks pretty cool. Fair bit of paint splattered off the side here, run in my, to my garbage bins. I think we might add one more color and then our painting will be finished. All ready for the next layer of paint. Here we go. And here is the final spin painting hanging proudly in our kitchen. You might like to make your own spin painting. You don't actually have to build a big crazy machine like we did to get this sort of effect. And uh, I do encourage you Keep going on those Bible reading challenges, reading through the Big Picture Story Bible if you've got yourself a copy, or reading through the Christmas story from the Old Testament to the New Testament. See you next time.